Uh, today I will provide you with a uh, brief update on the Capital Master Plan, and then we'll be pleased to take your questions. I assume that you've all seen the construction activity on the North Lawn, visible evidence that the Capital Master Plan is well underway. We're making great progress on the temporary North Lawn building, the fit-out of our other swing spaces, and the procurement tasks in support of the project. In brief, the Capital Master Plan is on schedule and on track. In December 2007, the General Assembly approved the accelerated strategy as proposed by the Secretary General in his fifth annual progress report. The accelerated strategy required an adjustment to the quantity of swing space required to house the staff and functions of the UN during the renovation. Since that time, the Secretary General's sixth annual progress report was submitted to the General Assembly and is available on the Capital Master Plan website, www.un.org slash CMP. The renovation will require the temporary relocation of many departments and offices to two categories of swing space, on-site and off-site. The primary on-site swing space is the temporary North Lawn building. The temporary building will first be used to house the functions of the conference building, and afterwards it will house the functions of the General Assembly building. It will also provide office space for the Secretary General, his staff, the ACABQ, the Office of the President of the General Assembly, and a number of other important functions. The groundbreaking ceremony for the temporary building took place on a beautiful spring day this past May. Since then, the area has changed dramatically. Most of the outdoor art that would have been adversely impacted by the construction activity has been relocated. Piles for the new building have been driven down to bedrock. The concrete foundations have been poured and the steel frame is almost complete. In order to accelerate the construction by allowing interior work to commence quickly, our construction manager will be wrapping the steel frame in a temporary shrink wrap in just a few weeks. This wrap will be fully recycled once it's no longer needed in line with our green agenda. By the conclusion of the general debate of this year's General Assembly session, the temporary building will be completed and the Secretary General, his closest staff, and the functions of the conference building will move into it. The primary data center will start to migrate out of the Secretariat into the second basement level under the North Lawn and the renovation of the Secretariat will commence, all in 2009. Off-site swing space. In addition to m using many of our existing leases, we have three leases in place that will provide for the office needs of the departments as they relocate from the Secretariat. We have prepared and negotiated a relocation plan which identifies the appropriate locations for all departments this plan has guided the design of the swing spaces. As the design work neared finalization, the fit out of each space commenced. At this moment, floors in all three swing space buildings are being fitted out while some last moment designs are being finalized. The renovation of the conference building will start this fall, slightly after the start of the renovation of the Secretariat building. In 2011, the conference building renovation will be completed and those functions will return to their home. The temporary North Lawn building will be reconfigured to host the functions of the General Assembly and the renovation of the General Assembly building will start in late 2011. We have already completed some early moves of staff out of the compound. The bulk of the moves, including staff, files, commercial services and other functions are scheduled to peak from June to August of this year when it is least disruptive to the work of the organization. Most importantly, the press will be moved after the general debate in October. The move schedule has recently been distributed to all focal points. Most offices will be relocated during the weekends, again to limit disruptions. As previously discussed, we anticipate that approximately four to five hundred 
work, work stations will be moved each weekend. We're very proud of the level of sustainable design that we've been able to incorporate into the project, the greening of the United Nations. The environmental performance of the headquarters complex will be significantly improved upon completion of the capital master plan. We will reduce energy consumption by a projected 44 percent as compared to existing conditions. This is an, an improvement over the 40 percent figure reported last year. This major reduction in energy consumption will be achieved by the implementation of design initiatives in two key areas. First, our sustainability work will focus on improving the building envelope. This includes the replacement of the existing single glazed curtain wall with a new high performance double glazed curtain wall. We will also install automated interior shades and blinds to control heat gain and maximize the use of natural light. New insulation and other energy conserving measures will be installed on roofs and exterior walls to reduce the heat transfer in both summer and winter. Our building envelope will leak less energy. The second area of energy efficiency incorporates significant efforts to improve the systems that generate our heating, ventilating, and air conditioning. We presently have four steam chillers, two of which are very old. We will replace the old low efficiency low efficiency steam chillers with high efficiency electric chillers. These electric chillers together with the remaining steam chillers, which will function as a backup capacity, will result in a very efficient hybrid steam, electric steam chiller plant. We'll also replace the existing distribution system with a new air water mixed distribution system and install a sophisticated building management system which will automate the central controls of the building's antique thermostat system. The combination of a more secure building envelope and a higher technology heating and air conditioning system will save operating costs and lower our carbon footprint for decades. We will install dramatically more efficient lighting systems, re replacing all light fixtures with high efficiency lamps and install occupancy sen sensors in rooms throughout the complex, which will turn off lights when a space is unoccupied. We will also employ a daylight harvesting system which will automatically control artificial light levels in response to natural light levels. Skanska, our procurement manager, is responsible for awarding all subcontracts. The process is overseen by the procurement division as well as by the capital master plan. Specifically, the UN has approved the process for Skanska's pre-qualifications of subcontractors. The UN approves all bid lists is present during all bid openings and approves all subcontract awards. To ensure increasing procurement opportunities for vendors from developing countries and countries with economies in transition, procurement opportunities are widely communicated by all appropriate methods, including advertisement on the Skanska website, which is linked to the Capital Master Plan website and the UN procurement website, regional outreach, and trade show outreach, as well as courtesy notifications to all permanent missions with regard to upcoming significant procurements. The General Assembly established the budget of the Capital Master Plan at $1.876 billion. Last year, in our fifth annual progress report, the estimated cost of the project was about $219 million above the approved budget level. This year's progress report reflects that we have reduced the estimated cost for the project by about $120 million. The adoption of the accelerated strategy and the accomplishment of design and value engineering exercises have resulted in a projected cost to complete that is $97.5 million over the approved budget of $1.876 billion. We are still over budget, but the gap has been halved. We will continue to seek opportunities to align the budget to the project. And I remain confident that we will complete the project within the approved budget. Our progress has allowed us to sharpen our schedule. 
Today I can report that we will rem that we remain on schedule and the project will be completed in 2013 consistent with the dates reported in last year's progress report. Given the outstanding support we've received from financial contributions from member states, the financial position of the project is strong. We've had continuous discussion with the Department of Public Information and the UN Correspondents Association concerning sp the space planning for the media during the Capital Master Plan. As many of you know, the daily briefing will be temporarily relocated to the Dag Hammarskjöld Auditorium during the renovation of the Secretariat Building. We anticipate this relocation to take place this coming fall. A stakeout location will be provided for the media in line with existing practice. During the renovation of the existing offices of the media in the Secretariat and in the Conference Building, media will, will be provided space in the Dag Hammarskjöld Library Building. Your move to the library is scheduled for October of this year. In closing, the Capital Master Plan has made significant progress during the past year, and I'd be pleased to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.